Here's a problem in which we're given a network of resistors and we're told to find the total resistance. Now we're not shown a circuit here but we can imagine a wire and a battery like this and another wire down here and you can imagine current coming out of the battery and getting to this point and branching and some goes down here and some goes over here and branches again and then all these currents rejoin and flow back to the battery. Now we're not worried about the voltage and the current in this particular problem. We simply want to know what the total resistance would be of this network of resistors. In other words, all of these particular resistors hooked together in this way, how much resistance would that network of resistors offer to the flow of current? Well, we do this by taking what we know about resistors in series and resistors in parallel and applying it to each little section of the circuit and working our way out to the entire, entire network of resistors. For example, we could start here. These two guys together are pretty easy. That's a 2 ohm resistor and a 4 ohm resistor in series. So the total resistance of that thing has to be 6 ohms. We could take, we could take this and then that would be in parallel with that and we'll work that out and get one number for this piece right here and then that is in series with that so we'll add those up and get one number for that whole piece then we'll look over here on this side and put the 9 and the 3 in series that's obviously going to be 12 but that 12 and whatever number we get over here on this side those two things are in parallel so we'll put those in parallel and we'll get one number for this whole section of the circuit and then we realize that this, this whole section and that are all in series and we'll add them up. So let's do it. We'll start here with this 2 and this 4. I'm just going to put a line around those and I'm going to write 6 ohms there. That's pretty easy to see. 2 plus 4 is 6. And then this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are in parallel. So let's work that out. 1 over RP and I'm calling this section right here the RP right there the parallel section. 1 over RP is going to be 1 over 6 ohms plus 1 over 6 ohms and that's obviously 2 over 6 ohms so RP will be 6 ohms over 2 which is 3 ohms. So I'm going to write that over here 3 ohms. Now that 3 ohm right here, this thing, and this 2 ohm are in series and 3 ohms plus 2 ohms is 5 ohms. So let me make a little bigger circle right here. And it helps to have different colors here. That's 5 ohms. Now it's also pretty clear that this 9 and this 3 add up to 12 ohms. Those two right there are in series, so this little series section is 12 ohms. And that 12 ohm section and this 5 ohm section over here on the left are in parallel. So I'll do another parallel calculation with the 5 ohm and the 12 ohm. Now let's see, what would a common denominator be for 5 and 12? I guess it'd be 60. So 1 over 5 ohms is the same thing as 12 over 60 ohms and 1 over 12 ohms is the same as 5 over 60 ohms, so that comes out to 13 over 60 ohms. So RP is 60 ohms over 13, and I need the calculator for that. 60 divided by 13 comes out to 4.6, or pretty close to 4.6. Okay, what I've just calculated is the resistance of this middle section here, 4.6 ohms. And then the answer from here is pretty trivial. I'm just going to add up the 1, my 4.6, and the 8. So my final answer will be R is 1 ohm plus 4.6 ohms plus 8 ohms. And you can do that in your head. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus the 0.6 is 12.6, plus the 1 is 13.6 ohms. And there we have it. Now the numbers worked out fairly nicely. The 9 and the 3 here added up to 12. 
and the 2 and the 4 added up to 6, and the 6 and the 6 right there worked out to 3. In the real world, the numbers don't always work out that nicely, and that's okay. In, um, in initial examples in class, the numbers often are designed to work out fairly conveniently on purpose just to demonstrate the concept so you don't get confused with the arithmetic or lost in the arithmetic and you can still see the concepts. In the real world, the numbers don't typically work out very conveniently, but the concepts are the same and understanding those concepts right now is the goal.